Well, as we heard earlier, the U.S. presidential race is in full swing. With the Republican National Convention now over, the country is looking ahead to the Democratic Convention in North Carolina next week. Earlier, I spoke to Adam Locke here from the U.S. Studies Center at Sydney University and asked him how the mega political conventions are likely to affect the vote. Most people, um, most voters have now made up their mind and uh, in particular a lot of women voters have made up their mind. So we're only looking at around about 9% uh, of voters out there who believe that they will change their mind in the lead up to the election. So we're already dealing with a very small minority of the electorate who will change their vote in the lead up. Um, when you take out the ones, the, the undecided voters who uh, exist in red states, very firm red states or very firm blue states, we're now down to around about 4% of the overall population. So, and these 4%, who are they? They tend to be the less engaged, um, the less well educated, um, and so we're, we'll see a pitch towards them. So um, things like Port Ryan, obviously making um, you know, statements that are completely untrue, um, this is appealing to them. It's not, it's not appealing to the, the converted who have already made up their minds. One of the areas where Barack Obama gets marked down, of course, is the, his handling of the economy and uh, his response to the GFC and so on. Uh, Mitt Romney promising 12 million new jobs in the next four years. That's a pretty big uh, promise that he's making there. Is this going to be a key battleground area? Oh, if Romney has any say in it, yes. Uh, he would like this election fought over uh, the economy, and not just over the economy, but over Obama's handling of the economy. All he wants to say is that you are now worse off than you were four years before. Um, and because you're now worse off than you were four years before, it's time to give somebody else a try. And if you can get that message across, um, I think you'll be pretty pleased. So you say most people have made up their minds at this point. Have you made up your mind as to who the likely winner is going to be? If you do the maths today, it's Obama. Um, however, from here, the electoral uh, strategy is pretty simple. Uh, both candidates are going to go away from Tampa, or uh, the, the Republican Party will go away from Tampa, and they'll try and raise a lot of money. <coughs> they'll then try and spend it all in the swing states. Um, so there is no um, there is no real nuance to this. There is not there's no um, real genius to this. This is just raising lots of money and spending in the swing states. Um, what would determine the election from here will be structural change. So if the economy looks like it's improving uh, and momentum is <coughs> is moving in that direction then Obama will probably win. If there's a severe um, downturn in the economy, then Rom Romney's uh, chances look good. Um, once again, foreign policy might be on the agenda if uh, um, Israeli, Israel decides to um, take out Iran's nuclear facilities. That again will recast the election. So a lot of these big issues between here and November are, is, are completely out of the candidate's hands. That was Adam Lockyer from the United States Studies Centre.